Are you failing your AFCI or GFCI inspections or you're not quite clear on the code requirements? I created this guide to help you navigate the code. Many of the fails result because it's not in a readily accessible location, the device is miswired, or the incorrect breaker is used for the application. If a GFCI is behind an appliance or it's hidden in a cabinet behind something, then it's going to fail because it has to be readily accessible or you have to use a breaker type. GFCI or AFCI protection device. A failure can also result because of confusion on terminology or the protection that you're installing doesn't meet the code requirements. The code guide discusses false tripping and common causes for that, such as old LEDs or backstab devices, older devices that were backstabbed and now it's causing the arc fault to trip. The guide is designed to help you pass your inspection. It gives you real world examples and NEC compliance tips. It will tell you what will pass the inspection and what won't pass the inspection. So if you want help passing your next AFCI GFCI inspection, there's a link in the description so you can pick up this guide.